I know it's silly, sis, and it doesn't solve a thing, but whenever I feel like everything's getting too loud, I just close my eyes and listen. It calms me, the knowledge that even at this hour, even here in Yesterby, there is always something going on that isn't about me. I then open my eyes and take it all in. Isn't it wonderful? The air, the ocean, our homes like flotsam, washed up on a beach at the end of the world. Gallia coming home late from the clinic. Melville's hammer doing a late night shift in his workshop. Nothing ever stands still. That's it. I'm making dinner. What about Angie? She can have the leftovers for all I care. She really didn't tell you where she went, Connie? No, but she said she'd be home for dinner. Even when she's not here, she has to make everything about herself. That's not who she is. Did she forget her keys? It's not locked. Who is it? Hun? Oh, that foolish girl. Huh. Looks like your sister robbed a bank or something. Concordia, go to your room, please. Why? I'm not going to repeat myself. What's going on? Um, hi there. just hanging out with Zek at the beach. You didn't want to see anyone today. I didn't? You told me this morning. <laughs> morning. Hey. Mom won't buy me new buttons. She said... I would only use them as eyes on new plushies. She wants me to grow up and make sweaters instead. Well, the winter will get cold. I've made enough sweaters that... year. And I am grown up. It's she who keeps treating me like a child. To be fair, in her generation, plushies were just for kids. I don't care about the plushie. I just want to make something complex. Like like a wild chimera with two heads, or a Bavarian Wolpertinger. 
What did Dad say? <laughs> he laughed and said he would help me name it. But it doesn't need a name. It's just a toy. They're being so simple. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that one by yourself, without me. Where are you going? I don't know yet. Can I come with you? Better not. I'm in a pretty foul mood today. I have an appointment with Galia later. Everyone else will have to wait for a better day. I should be home for dinner, though. Oh, okay. I'll start work on the wool pretender then. All that raw wool on my shelf, it needs to be made into something. <laughs> something with antlers, two rabbit paws, and a beak. <laughs> Mom will freak out when she sees that thing. I'll try not to be too late. Raw wool. I like that. See you this evening, sis. I'm almost finished drawing the design. So where are you? I'm right here, aren't I? You're not. Uh, okay, let's try not to freak out. Come on, take my hand. You're shaking, sis. Try to close your eyes and do what you always do. What do you hear? Mom shouting. Okay, no closed eyes then. Let's focus on something in my room. Something we can hold on to. We may even find a clue as to what the hell's happening. You were writing a poem before you went out? The town resounds, the ocean just glistens, everything grinds, nothing ever listens. The tide never minds, the dawn never wanders, for the closer the distance, the distance it, I don't know, ponders, squanders, whatever I had in mind, I never finished it. Seriously, I was never good with endings. is empty. Of course it is. The sunlight down the coast was near perfect today. Generosity from the heavens, as mom would say. Maybe I went out to take some pictures of the view. Your personal masterpiece. I am prepared to testify that mom could never pull something off like that. Pillows are just as boring as sweaters. Boring is good. Boring is just what we need right now. 